Hello, welcome to Messy Church. Last week we did the colour green, and as you can see, I've coloured in the green band on the rainbow, and this time I've coloured in the grey elements. This week we're doing the colour blue, and I thought we would do things relating to water. First of all, I'm going to tell you a story from the Bible about Jesus. Jesus had lots of friends who were fishermen. And one day, the fishermen went out in the boat and they worked all night. They fished all night and they kept putting the net out and bringing it back and it was empty. And they were really tired and hungry. So they decided to go back to shore. And on the shore was Jesus and Jesus yelled at them, throw your net over on the other side. And so the fishermen threw their net over on the other side and when they poured the net in, the net was full of fish. So I thought you might like to make a story boat just like this with Jesus' friends and some fish. Let me show you how I did it. So first of all, you need a sheet of card and you need to cut it down the middle lengthways, just like this. Then using either blue paint or a blue crown or felt tip, we start by making the waves on the water. And then you colour in the sea. Then using brown, I'm going to do the wooden boat. Those are the planks of wood that made the boat. Then you need to join the two pieces together. Make sure you have water matching at the bottom. Then you can either use glue or I'm using staples just to be quick. And then at the other end you do exactly the same. Now on my boat here I use a box keep it apart. You can also fold it back so that it's like that. On my boat here I've used a net but if you haven't got a net this was from Lemons. You could always draw your net and there is the net and it's empty. On the other side, we're going to have the net too. On this side, we're going to have fish. So let's put some glue on, so we can put lots of fish. And I've cut out fish from card, but if you haven't got that, you could also draw them on. Now we've got our disciples or Jesus' friends and I made them very easily. I just made three circles for their heads, gave them sad faces because there was no fish on this side. I gave this one curly hair. Some of them would have beards. Lots of hair on their face. And others would have perhaps just a, a smart beard at the bottom. And then you can just colour in far better than I'm doing. Clothes 
Although I think fishermen probably didn't wear tops when they were in the boat because they would be get hot and wet. And just do it like that. And then I just cut out the tops so you could see. And make sure you have them on the right side. Put some glue and then you can stick them on. There you are. So there's my fisherman, Jesus' friends with no fish. And you can also make a mast, just a piece of paper with two holes and I've used a bamboo stick. Pop that in there, made a little hole and there's the fisherman looking very unhappy without any fish. And on the other side you need to do your three friends of Jesus with nice smiley faces because they've got plenty of fish. You can read the story in the Bible too. For my next craft, I thought we would go under the sea. And I have here an egg box that I coloured in. Perhaps you've been down to the beach and you've got some nice things that you've picked up, some shells and bits and pieces you might like to put in a little box for under the sea. So the egg box I've painted brown and painted blue but you could use yellow as well and I thought it might look nice with perhaps some bits right. I thought it might look nice with some glitter on the top so it looks like bubbles So what I've used there, I've used crunched up tissue paper to put in, which makes it look like a sea urchin. You can also take a strip of tissue paper and make a fringe all the way along using a pair of scissors. And then just twirl your tissue paper like this and that can go on too. So it looks. Then you can put your treasured shells. I've got lots of different shells here. Got some long ones. A little scallop shell there as well. Some very interesting ones. And I've also twirled some pipe cleaners because I thought that looked interesting. And you can do that by adding a pipe cleaner, wrap it round a pen, and then you have something like this. Just poke that in too. Maybe do another one. Just wrap it round a pen or a pencil. And pop that into. So a nice way for you to display your shells that you can see at the bottom of a rock pool. For our final craft tonight, I thought I would make a crocodile that stretches. Let me show you how I made it. I used some green card and a strip of blue paper, got some felt tip pens and some paper straws and to start with I took a pencil and I drew the crocodile's head. You don't need to worry too much how it looks, I'm sure it will be just fine. The crocodile has a big 
pig mouth. He would, if you've got time, you could add some teeth with some other colours. And I've got a big eye here. And I thought a little bit of red for his nostril. And then also we want his tail that comes along. all out just like that now to make the concertina you need a strip of colored paper and you turn it backwards and forwards so you concertina it up you might need an adult to help you do that Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, until you're finished. And give it a good squeeze, so you have your concertina. And perhaps for you it might be easier to do this twice, to get someone pay perhaps to help you, so that you... side make sure you do it the right way round and you need again your paper your straw and then you have your crocodile which his tummy stretches backwards and forwards there we go I hope you've enjoyed this week's Messy Church. Let's finish with a prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for water. The water that we drink, the sea that we swim in, the creatures that live in the sea and in the lakes and in the rivers. Help us to protect the environment. Amen. Look forward to seeing you again next week. Keep safe until we meet again. Bye.